22nd of November 1917, Croachan, Tainot, Argyll. My darling baby girl, your daddy sends you his most fond love and wishes you very much happiness on the occasion of you having reached the first anniversary of your birthday. The first year of your life has been a year which, well, in later years, be known as one of the worst years in the history of the world. Nearly all the nations of the world are at enmity and the most fearful war is raging. Men have failed to realise that they are all children of one fatherland and they are at present killing and maiming each other. The world is just now divided into nations and the people of each nation presently at war believe themselves to be fighting on behalf of their own particular country, Germany against France, and so on. In each of these countries, however, there are men and women who have so a clearer vision and who believe that all men and women are brothers and sisters. And these people are known as pacifists. They believe that all wars are wrong and that it is wrong for men to slay each other. Believing so, they cannot take part in this present fearful war. The people of this country and other countries who have the reins of government in their power at the present time have endeavoured to force every man to take part in the war. But the pacifists refused to be compelled to do so. The authorities placed these men in prison. Your daddy is one of those men who believed that war and bloodshed was wrong and that there should be universal peace and love throughout all the world. A few days after you were born, he was forced away from his loved ones and home. And as he would not be a soldier, he was sent to prison for four months. And when that time had passed, he was kept at a place a hundred miles from home and his baby girl. Your mother and I both believe that it is wrong for men and women to fight. We realise that it is only when men and women refuse to bear arms and settle their disputes by reasoning quietly with each other that there is hope of the peoples of the world living happily and peacefully with one another. Daddy knows his dear love child won't understand this letter now. But when she grows up, she may then be able to understand why her daddy was not at home during the early days of her life, although he did so much want to be. 21 months ago, when daddy and mammy felt they would like to have a baby of their own, they little realised the fullness of joy that would be theirs. During the months prior to your birth, when you were in your mother's body, close to her heart, she and I felt so happy. We looked forward most eagerly to the time when you would make our life so full of joy and be the blessing which you have been. The coming home of a baby, a first baby especially, is an event most sacred. And for that day, preparations are made many months in advance. The days when your pretty first clothes were being made were very happy. And when you did come home, our cup of happiness was overflowing. A baby's birth causes his mother to be ill and to suffer. But the joy and the love for the baby makes her forget all the pain. My precious baby, my precious baby, I know will be a treasure to her mother and a comforter during the absence of her daddy. Very soon he hopes to be back beside his wee girl and her dear mother again. He's glad to know his wee Cathy is going so big and strong. Sweetest love and kisses, your very fond daddy. The enclosures are daddy's birthday gifts. <laughs>